Hi everybody, uh, I wanted to do a little uh, discussion on Kuala Triangnu. Um, it's part of Malaysia, uh, it's actually a beach uh, destination uh, located right here. Uh, so Thailand, uh, Bangkok, uh, and Vietnam, and Malaysia is right here. So it's basically in the center of this map. Uh, it's kind of the foot uh, heading out into Indonesia. Uh, and really maybe a good uh, starting point um, before prior going to Indonesia, uh, it would be maybe valuable to check out this city. So Malaysia is right down here, uh, and you can see Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, uh, and a number of other uh, major places. So the flight across Malaysia is about $40, uh, and that's good to the other city here. And really, there isn't any beaches in Kuala Lumpur unless you head outside the major city. Here on this side of, the, of basically Malaysia, there is quite a lot of beaches. So if you zoom in, it will show you uh, the name of the city, uh, but then it will show you uh, Kuala Tarangunu. And uh, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, uh, but you can see uh, as we zoom in, uh, basically there's a lot of beachfront uh, right along the, the ocean here. Uh, so on a regular Google map, it looks something like this. Uh, that was a Google Earth. Uh, and basically, you can zoom in and start to see uh, where you are. Singapore is way down here, Kuala Lumpur, and then the city that we're looking at right over here. So let's just try to zoom in and see what that looks like. I'm going to shift it like this. Uh, the rain is actually super important on this side of the island, uh, maybe even more important uh, than Kuala Lumpur. Uh, but you can see... Uh, you can still see Kuala Lumpur in the background here. Uh, this is uh, something like 50, 100 miles uh, across the island here. Uh, but you're basically zooming in here. Now there's kind of like a river that heads through here uh, and then uh, some mountainous areas out in the foothills here. Um, so one of the difficulties is that the airport is over here and then the main downtown area is over here. Uh, so from the best of my knowledge, it takes about an hour, maybe an hour and a half even uh, by bus or by taxi uh, to get to downtown from the airport, even though it shows only about a mile. So I picked out a number of attractions uh, starting from the airport uh, and checking out the mosque. Uh, this little island here, uh, a couple spots downtown, and then the beach fronts, and then another uh, mosque. Now, surprisingly, the bus does not go. Uh, you have to uh, actually walk a little ways from the airport, um, and then uh, it doesn't go directly there. It actually heads uh, kind of over through the island here, uh, and it doesn't go over this major bridge uh, to take you directly to the beach. And from what I'm reading, it takes about $10, $20 uh, to get a taxi. There are quite a number of affordable hotels near the airport, which is great, uh, ranging from $12 a night all the way up to uh, $30 or $40 a night. I was really surprised how small a lot of these hotels are. So some of the ones uh, at $20 and $30 a night are actually very, very small hotels. Uh, and as I zoom in here, you can see a few more hotels start to show up. But basically, um, there's not actually a whole lot near the beach. Uh, it's kind of in this area over here uh, that's maybe best. But even downtown, there isn't a whole lot of restaurants and other things. Um, so you have to kind of be careful uh, where you choose your hotel. So again, uh, these flights primarily are from to and from Kuala Lumpur. So you have to add an additional uh, $40 to your flight uh, and you have to book it at least two weeks in advance to get some of these prices uh, that you're seeing here. Uh, so basically Bali would be a hundred and say $40 uh, to get to uh, Kula Tango. And you can see here that the flights do go from $65 to the following day all the way down to $42 and then if you do it a few weeks out uh, basically $40 for the flight. One very interesting thing about Malaysia is that uh, it actually gives you quite a lot of time if you're coming from the United States or Europe. They give you 90 days uh, for the visa, which is quite a significant amount of time. Okay, so I wanted to check out one of the bigger hotels uh, in downtown 
that was uh, very affordable, and that's about thirty dollars a night, thirty to forty, say. And it's called the Brand Grand Partie, and you can kind of get a feel uh, for how that might work. Um, so you'd say uh, it's about um, two thousand feet, uh, maybe longer. Let's say uh, four thousand feet. Uh, to the beach, uh, but you got a pretty nice walk along the waterfront here uh, to get there. So let's zoom in uh, and see exactly where this is. Uh, so again, here's the airport. Uh, you'd probably take a, a taxi uh, to the hotel, um, and it looks like uh, you could go either this way or around this way uh, to the hotel. Um, and as you see downtown, they have kind of some weird parks, and actually this is a cemetery uh, over here. So uh, basically the Grand uh, Partie is kind of on the back side here. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of hotels <coughs> uh, over on that side, uh, believe it or not. And actually many of these are some of the more affordable options, uh, and they're actually pretty good. Uh, because right along the beach, there's not a whole lot of uh, food options, and you can even see in this map, it only shows a couple uh, food options here, but that's actually not the case. Uh, as you zoom in, you'll start to see uh, some more. Uh, but there's also this one, the KT Chinatown Lodge. I hear good things about that one as well. Um, but this is a pretty big uh, hotel, as you'll start to see here. Uh, so basically, this whole building uh, is basically the hotel. This is the front entrance. Let me just zoom out so you can see where we are again. So there's basically kind of a uh, promenade along the uh, waterfront here. Uh, it's pretty nice. I just, I'll show you some pictures of that later. Uh, but this hotel is like right in here. So it's pretty centralized. Uh, and there is some restaurants. You can see a restaurant right over here. Um, but there is actually not a whole lot of restaurants. I was really surprised uh, just when I did street view of what's going on here. But let's show you, let's show you what this hotel looks like. I'll zoom in, uh, you can see uh, it's a pretty massive looking hotel here. Uh, kind of a cool entrance, uh, and kind of Malaysian and Islamic uh, style uh, hotel. Let's just zoom back out again so you can see where we are. So again, that hotel is right over here. Uh, let's just do one more hotel uh, just because I actually haven't seen this one yet uh, myself. And uh, we can see if we can zoom in uh, and see. So this is basically a part of the Chinatown area. Uh, actually, it doesn't really even show the hotel, but um, basically you can see a number of shops here. Uh, I'm not sure what day of the week this is, but we can't really even see uh, that hotel. So maybe we have to look on this side. Let's see if we can look on this side. Uh, this is more of the uh, waterfront uh, promenade. Uh, see it's pretty nice here so there's probably some nicer spots over here too I'm gonna just zoom out and see if we can find it, it looks actually pretty hard to find so I uh, might have to double check on that address uh, to see where that hotel is anyway I'm just looking around more on the side streets to try to find that hotel I can't still find it for some reason wanted to show you the Crystal Mosque uh, that was part of this tour here. Uh, it's actually located on a pretty cool little peninsula here. Uh, it's very beautiful. It's got all these uh, really shiny glass around it, uh, but it looks pretty cool overall. Let me try to show you where that is on a map uh, so you can see it. So basically there's this weird little uh, peninsula here. It's got a whole kind of convention center and uh, there's that major bridge and then there's a small little island over here so basically it does take uh, quite a little trip to get over there um, but you can see uh, basically I've organized this whole trip in blue here uh, for what might be pretty fun to check out and there's another uh, kind of an area that would be pretty cool to check out over here as well but that was the picture that we got uh, from the mosque right here and there's some other images inside the mosque as well looks like uh, that you can see and here's a picture inside the mosque you can kind of see uh, it's pretty beautiful got this uh, whole uh, lighted dome area looking up uh, and the floors are all kind of golden uh, carpet uh, and pretty cool uh, little space actually Here's kind of an aerial view I found uh, of the whole place. It looks pretty spectacular. You can see uh, every, 
everything here. So yeah, I'm super glad someone did the whole uh, overview of this, but you can see uh, the ground looks really green here. I don't know, they kind of changed the color of this. Uh, but you can see there's a whole another area over here as well. Um, and just a bunch of other buildings and even like kind of like a second mosque over here. Um, so it looks pretty cool. Um, little park and really nice area. Um, definitely uh, worth checking out. Next, I wanted to show you this little island that they built boats on. Um, they have uh, kind of a mysterious little island here. Uh, I'll show you where that is. So basically what <coughs> this island is, there's a bunch of docks here. Uh, and it's kind of this whole island here uh, that they build uh, traditional, uh, <coughs> traditional boats on. Next, I wanted to show you kind of the pier here. There's this major bridge, uh, and then there's these kind of like these two hooks or jetties that head out uh, into the peninsula you can see here. Uh, so you might want to look at uh, this area right in here, uh, and I'll just show you where that is relative to the airport. Um, so basically the airport is over here, uh, and this is getting, there's two sides, two different jetties. Uh, this isn't really populated on this side yet, but looks like there may be a building on that side now. Um, and then most of the beachfront is over on this side here. But this jetty uh, is a pretty cool spot and you can just click on here. Kind of see they have a little walkway all the way out. Next, I wanted to show you what the beachfront looks like. Um, so you can kind of see uh, what the beachfront looks like uh, right near uh, the downtown area. And they do have uh, some kind of like little tents uh, and other places that you can buy some food. And then a little walking tower here that's pretty uh, famous that a lot of people know about uh, in the region. So we're basically talking about this little spot right over here. Um, so this is basically the jetty uh, that we just looked at. <coughs> and there's a little uh, kind of a turnaround and it looks like uh, a little circular area and the beachfront uh, access right over here. Now, one of the things I warn you is there isn't a whole lot of food places. There's a couple, like one over here, one over here, and one over here. So um, the beachfront uh, is a little bit uh, mostly hotels uh, and houses. Now, here's a view uh, from the bridge. Uh, you can see they have these observation decks. Uh, I heard you can take a ride up to those observation decks, and it's air-conditioned up there, and you can look around. Um, and <clears throat> looks like a pretty good view um, and just walking across the bridge uh, looks like it should be pretty fun to do um, now just in case you're curious where that bridge is it's basically right over here so this is this bridge that we were looking at here um, and that you can just pick one of these lanes and then zoom in and it will show you uh, what that looks like basically here so here's some more beachfront property. Uh, you can see uh, basically some pretty big hotels along here. Uh, and again, uh, there isn't a whole lot of places to eat uh, or food vendors. I was kind of surprised, uh, but I'll show you where this beach is. This beach was almost right at the corner here, uh, right around here. So I just picked this little spot right here. Uh, and you can see uh, and along here, you do have some places to sit um, right along the beach here. Um, but not a whole, whole lot. So again, uh, that beach spot that you're looking at right here, and they got a couple different places. If you click on these, you can see this is just a, a vendor that's doing uh, drinks, and then they got a couple tents here. So actually, uh, there isn't any major uh, big restaurants in that area, but you can kind of see uh, where we are like next to downtown. That's the beach right there. Here's the other side of the jetty. Uh, you can see the water is pretty murky here. This all comes from the river um, and uh, beaches are a little bit better um, outside of these areas. Here's what the Crystal Mosque looks like from the bridge crossing. You can kind of see um, here you got, uh, there's almost, it looks like even three mosques on that little area. Wanted to show you what the airport looks like. Um, so you can kind of, you'd be a little bit surprised. Uh, this is actually one of the better views. You can see the control tower uh, right there. Uh, but as you get a little bit closer, <coughs> you'll see uh, the uh, Sultan Mohammed Airport. Um, it kind of looks uh, like they got all these little trees in the way, so you can't really see too well where the entrance 
experiences. Uh, but you can kind of uh, cruise around a little bit and see a little bit what the entrance and the exit might look like. Uh, it looks like this is the exit here. So, uh, but you can kind of see uh, in here what that looks like. Now, I did notice that grab does work here. The grab works in many places in Southeast Asia, um, and you can use that. You have to download that on your phone. And then there's a couple other taxis, one called Taxi, um, and then this other one, Taxi Kula Atungu. And then on one side of the bridge, you'll get this view here, so you can kind of see, <coughs> I'll show you where this is, I'll zoom out here. You can see uh, there's kind of like a little park here, um, and this is, uh, this area here uh, so it is actually pretty nice um, over here uh, you can just zoom in and see what that looks like um, and it's kind of a nice little park just to check out now I was really surprised uh, it looks like this bridge was just recently built uh, Google added these images from 2018 so it looks like uh, it was just built in 2019 so, uh, so it's a brand new bridge basically Here's more beachfront uh, kind of views of what that looks like. Uh, you can see little shops um, selling coconuts, some other things, uh, and some other shops right here. Uh, but as I said, there's not a whole lot of restaurants um, <coughs> directly next to you there, so it's mostly uh, tent shops. And let me show you really quick where this location is. Uh, this is kind of at the bend here. Uh, again, so this is like right near, uh, this is the bridge uh, as a landmark. Uh, and then, uh, I just took this thing here and then cruised on in, and then that's uh, basically this little bend uh, in the intersection here. Kind of a downtown view, a few blocks from the beach. Just wanted to show you what that looked like. Uh, you can see a number of different shops, uh, but again, I was surprised. Uh, this is one of the only food shops here. Um, I wasn't even sure if they really sell food. Uh, you can see mobile phone stores. There's not a whole lot of ATMs either uh, in the area. And let me show you where this is on the map. I can just zoom out here. This is one of the major intersections here. Uh, is on the other side of the bridge. So there's basically uh, the waterfront and beach is out in this area. <coughs> I just picked in this major intersection right over here uh, to kind of see uh, right along the street here to see what that's like. And there's some other streets over here that might be charted important to check out. We can check this one out real quick. <clears throat> you can see uh, what another busy street looks like. Um, it looks fairly safe for the most part. Um, Malaysia uh, doesn't have any travel advisories. Um, however, as you get into town here, I would definitely be careful. Uh, certain streets uh, may not be super great at night. Here's another look at what beachfront uh, looks like. Um, you can see uh, Whole lot of people right now at this particular location you have a huge park here uh, let me just zoom out so you can see where we are uh, and then this is on the opposite end so we go further down the beach um, and I just basically picked uh, this spot right over here um, and this was pretty close well anyway another hotel area sorry about that uh, kind of took us right into the parking lot there uh, I meant to do over here and check out the beach area so but yeah, so this is kind of that other end of that beach uh, where the, that jetty is out over here. And some more downtown scenes. You can see basically what this looks like. This is actually a fire department um, right here um, and then some busy streets. And this is one of the more busy streets also near um, <coughs> uh, the Grand Petit Hotel. So. Anyway, so we primarily looked at this area here in the neighborhoods, um, as well as the beaches, um, but <clears throat> there is quite a lot to check out. I would really also mention that this, this national park here looks unbelievable. So some of the places out in here, looks like there's no roads, nothing to get out there, uh, but this town right here might be worth exploring a little bit uh, to see where this river comes from uh, up in the mountains. I hope you've really enjoyed the study of Malaysia. Um, again, it's about $40 flight uh, from Kuala Lumpur to get here, uh, get you right on the beach. Uh, and then most of the hotels are between $12 and $30 or $40 a night.
here's kind of the tour that we did. Uh, we checked out the Crystal Mosque uh, in that little area here. Uh, there's that island where they do the boat building. Uh, we kind of probably could have looked at that a little bit more. Uh, a couple of spots downtown uh, and then along the beach. And actually, we didn't check out this mosque, but there's another mosque uh, and a beach area down in that area, which looked pretty interesting as well. Let me know if you have any questions about the city or if you want to try to study more about uh, visiting Malaysia together. I'd be glad to try to do that with you. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this study.